All right, uh, now and then we like to dive into the world of education, and Michigan Virtual helps us do that, our Inner Circle sponsor. Uh, today I want to introduce Kristen Nolan, who's an online Spanish teacher with Michigan Virtual, and uh, she's Michigan certified. She currently lives abroad in Spain, and as a result, her online students have had the chance to benefit from her travels, and she joins us on the program. Hi, Kristen. Hi, how are you? Great, thanks. So, I hear you have a pretty unique teaching situation. You're Michigan certified, but you live in Spain and teach Spanish classes online, which I guess, what difference yeah. does it make if you're online? Might as well be in Spain and, right. and, and, uh, and if you're going right. to teach about Spanish. What, what, uh, what makes the experience from coming from Spain that much better for you and for your students? Well, um, I have an example for you. Um, sure. One I have several students who are in one school, um, and so they were able to put me up on the screen, and so we did a Zoom call, um, and I went out to the street like before I, um, before I met with them, out to the, the walls of the city, and took them along the route of the running of the bulls, ah. um, and then just kind of, so I showed them, you know, like I was in the running of the bulls and took them along the whole path all the way to the bull ring pointed out all the buildings along the way and it was just a really cool did you experience. did you do this in spanish or english i did that in, in english because ah. the class that i was working with was just at the beginning of spanish too yeah one day doing in spanish so uh, do i assume yeah. that you're li you're living or at least we're in pamplona when you did that yes is that yes. where you live yes i'm in pamplona yes wow that's yep. a yeah it, i have been there i've run with the bulls and uh yeah. I, I, yeah outside of outside of that and and drinking a lot of sangria that night uh that is a really out of the way town to go live in if you come from america yeah. what what brought you to pamplona well the same thing that brought you to pamplona <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i left i stayed for about four no, days i came home well that was it was crazy we um came here in 2014 and um, we wanted to see the running of the bulls. I had heard all about it. I mean, probably the same story as you. You know, you yeah. maybe read The Sun Also Rises. Right. And then, you know, you know a little bit about Hemingway, and you think, wow, that would be a cool thing to see. It's so different from anything that we've ever experienced. And so we came to do that, and um, I didn't run. But um, we decided to go to a bullfight, and we got inside with our scalped ticker, and um, yeah. realized that our seats weren't together. And so we're wandering around thinking, all right, well, how are we going to do this? And some nice guys said, you know what, we'll move over. You guys can sit together. And um, it happened that it was a huge fan of bullfighting, and he explained the whole thing to us, and we ended up being really good friends, kept in touch by WhatsApp. And so when we decided to move here, we already had friends, and wow. the rest is history. Who, who is the we? You keep saying we, so I should ask you, who's the we? Oh, yes, my husband and I okay. Okay. moved here. Yeah. And yeah. How, so you've been in Spain since then, since 2016, did you say? No, it was 2014, and the 14th. then we came back, kept in touch um, with the people that we met that night, and um, um then we moved here in 2016. So wow. we've been here except for during COVID. We we went home after we had been shut right. here for we were shut in for a month. And, and, and so I, I, I guess I guess you would say that that, you know, online learning for you has been as much of a benefit as it has been for kids who have to learn online and that you're able to live in the country that you're teaching uh, li literally the living right. language. And without any, yeah. I, I assume as long as you have good internet, without any drop-offs, as if you were in Farmington Hills. Yes, exactly. Um, we had a little hiccup at the very beginning with, you know, being able to get on Michigan Virtual um, Technology, and uh, we fixed it maybe my first week and haven't had any trouble since. Oh, cool. Well, mm -hmm. I, I, I wish I was uh, taking Spanish again because uh, I would like to learn it from someone who's, <laughs> Who uh, outside? You, who you can say to your teacher at what point? What's that noise outside your window? Nothing. They're just yeah, running yeah. bulls through the streets. Pay yeah, yeah. pay attention to the lesson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, at eight yeah, o'clock yeah. in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a pleasure talking to you, Kristen. Thank you. Thank you for coming on yeah, with nice us. We really appreciate it.
Kristen Thank Nolan, you. online Spanish teacher with Michigan Virtual, leading and collaborating to mm. build learning environments for tomorrow.